Cleveland, nigga. Bad bitches gon' strip. Dope boys gon' trap to this. Keep an eye, I don't laugh to this. Somebody might get slapped to this. They know the real. Free the dogs and the demons. Take a trip to the east end. CLE, CLE not Cleveland. Top goons, they my road dogs. My young boys made the place hot. Never read a bad rat, niggas. Hug a president, take yeah. face shot. She making bands on the long pole. She bad, she goes on the long pole. For reals. I came through. Oh, that's <laughs> wavy. These are the wavy ones, too. Okay. You got the Mr. Nah, nah, nah. Kipling. Hey. You got the wavy joint. He got his five a day, fam. <laughs> yeah, that's the five a day joint right there. Fruit or veg. Oh, Shout out to Red Seedless, seedless Grapes. Jesus Christ. Shout yeah. out to Fruits and Vegetables, kids. Yeah. That's what we need. Eat your fruit and veg, kids. Eat your fruit and veg, man. Eat you your need your veg. body. You need your nutrients and your vitamins. Um, Everybody want some grapes? Yeah, son. Yeah, you going? Yeah. Going. Yeah. I had the technical and then. Oh, we, yeah, we, cool, we live. Cool. We live and we live. We live and we live. We live and we live. Oh, great. They call grape us. Wavy. Anyways, let's get this shit started. Before we run out of time, because we got shit to do. We're busy, man. Allegedly. Huh? <laughs> I don't know what you talk about. I'm I mean, definitely listen, doing some shit. I mean, it's Sunday, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Sunday, are we still working? Listen, man. To a certain extent. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, welcome, 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 welcome. Get the Kim Podcast episode 13. It's 13. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. That's an unlucky number. I know. Listen, man. We but we mean. blessed, though. You know, like on planes, they... <laughs> you missed. <laughs> you know on planes, they don't have, like, row 13 oh, on yeah, planes because yeah, yeah. people is really suspicious. Weird. Even don't like some size skyscrapers like they, oh, yeah, like they don't have the 13th floor of like a hotel. I a literally joke. saw like an Instagram post this morning where someone was showing like an elevator panel and it had all the numbers except 13. Oh, and it was just random. No, was, no, 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 no. It oh, had all the numbers except 13. Though? Yeah, I saw that <laughs> one. But it had the number, it didn't have the number yeah. 13 and he was like, you know, technically it's just, you know, the 13th floor still like yeah. late. That's crazy. It's not like you skipped it and it's invisible. So I was like, yeah, we here, we here, we back. We out here. We back. You're here. Uh, my name's Dan Ryan, whatever you want to call me. Listen, man, it's Ishmael. If you don't know shit, then it's a bit too late for you, fam. <laughs> um, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, all right, cool. Like. And, you know, I've just got back from Madrid, you know, so. That's Jesus. literally, yes. that's literally his first here. name. I just got back from. Oh, no, no Young Da Vinci thing? No. Oh, you no. won't. It, it, <laughs> I'm doing Ish now. I don't, <laughs> need to say, I don't need to say it anymore once <laughs> I've said it once. Come on, man, right? You said it twice. Twice, okay. I'll make it three. Modern Da Vinci. There you go. <laughs> Anyways, three yeah, everybody is magic got, everybody number. as you heard, Chad's back from tour. A little bit. The rehearsal tour, whatever. Just work. Yeah, work mm-hmm. shit. Famous one as usual. So what's, um, what's it saying out there in the in the in the common world? Do you know what? That was my that's the first time I ever performed in Spain. Really? The only time only time I went to Spain before was a sports tour in uni. Dang, and that's yeah. a different that's sports <laughs> tour is a different thing. Yeah, that, that's a different way. It's a different thing. Yeah. But it's cool, man. Spanish people remind me of Jamaican people. Oh, okay. word? Yeah, they're just mad friendly, yeah, just mad nice. chill. Like, I felt quite safe there. Wait, wait are you into Madrid? I heard, no. I heard Bar- Barcelona was popping for pickpockets. <laughs> Italy, too. For Italy any too. for any aspiring pickpockets, make your way. <laughs> Italy, too, by the make way. Your way to, <laughs> you make your way to that Barcelona. Sounds like I came from a place of hurt, bro. Yeah. No. You got pickpocketed in Italy. No, no, no. We just saw loads of them. Well, like, you can see the loads of them. They're just bait. Mm. They're just bait, man, so... Just with the flashing lights on the ground. And right. mm-hmm. It's crazy, man. But yeah, we back. Everybody had a good week. Obviously, we know his week. What about us? I mean, I'm, I've I've had a uh, okay week. We blessed. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. As as um, Cookie would say, uh, amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. Yeah, yeah, man. God is amen. good. God amen. is good. But yeah, we got some shit again to talk mm-hmm. about this week. You tell him, boy. What you got to <laughs> say? What you got to say this week, man? We got some shit to talk because it's been an eventful week. Um, first and foremost, though, um, R.I.P. Uh, little me, uh, mini me. Sorry, I'm sorry. Mini me, man. Me, little me, I'm like mini me. <laughs> little me. We played. Uh, it was Vern. Is it Vern? Vern Troyer. Vern Troyer. Yeah, he mm-hmm. passed away a few hours ago. No, his, the announcement. Week. The family made an announcement recently. Mm. He's been. That we just heard. Well, yeah. yeah so hope hope that he's um. Mm. So he's all good. Uh, also, R.I.P. Avinci. Avicii. Uh, Avicii. Is it Avinci? Avicii. Avicii. I'm sorry. Avinci, man. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm it's sorry. It's alright. You got Da Vinci on the brain. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, 
cut this out, but you sound so stone. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care for shit. I ain't cutting that out. <laughs> Bruh. I don't care. Yeah, um, but yeah. He was like, 28, right? 28? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah 28, Damn, 28, 28. And he died in, oh man. Um, his oh brother. yeah, James, I ain't cutting that shit out, by the way. I'm just telling you now. You <laughs> better not. I'll keep that. You in. better not. Bro. Okay. Man, that's yeah. heartbreaking, man. Yeah, I'm just tired. I'll, I'm yeah. tired, okay? I'm tired. Yeah, because he got things to do. Yeah, I got. I actually got um, shit to do. Things to do. I'm so he bit, says. Mm. Boy, I'm doing I'm not time. Ishmael, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying because that. Because I'm just saying. Cause <laughs> not anyone would this get man, that this, this man, yeah, literally mm-hmm. goes active without saying shit when we have plans as well by ourselves. Yeah. I couldn't remember the last time we all just hung out outside of the studio. Right. But he's, yeah. we're always active in a certain way, shape, or form. Yeah, we we're all moving and shaking. Right. So, but yeah, um, but yeah, those passing away it was crazy. Mm. It was it was unexpected too. I yeah, think. Man. Yeah, like I, I was mean, just scrolling through Twitter and it was like, oh, Avicii. Like <laughs> I just couldn't. Uh, yeah, I saw um I saw it through Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, I saw someone post about. I was like, shit, yo, yeah. that's crazy. But yeah, hope their families are good. We send, yep. you know, everybody should send prayers and yeah. just even though you don't know, I'm just send prayers because losing. Losing a person in general that's close to you or Bro. whatever you know a certain way yeah. is is a uh, is a big thing. So, and the thing is, this is this is a bit of a funny one because obviously you have someone who's very he's what he, he was huge in 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 his, in his Man, Sweden, yeah, huge, bro. And huge the thing is, Sweden. obviously he was young, and yeah. the way things happen, like they said, they carried out two autopsies, and the only thing they can confirm that there was no foul play or like any wow. you know anyone so hurt could him have been or something like that. So I don't know what it could be, but you know, all I do hope is that it's not necessarily anything heartbreaking. Because obviously, it's one thing to to have people who die of natural causes, but when it's drugs yeah. and all that kind of stuff, obviously, it's heartbreaking. Yeah, yeah. Every, we can have our suspicions, but exactly until so the, the whole um, the whole things process comes out. goes through. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, anyways, um, radar radio. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Shout out to everybody that at Radar, Ooh. man. Like, um, <laughs> Nobody's at Radar, fam. What do you mean? Shout yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> shout out all the desks and shit. <laughs> yeah, shout out to all the desks, the chairs, the, the empty equipment, there. the empty right. equipment that we can hopefully have. Hopefully, uh, we would like to, you know, get some equipment for James. Mm. Bless. J Faves in the cut. Yeah, J Faves as well. Yo, you want an angel slice? As usual. Ah, 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 ting. Oh yeah, you you can't eat gluten or something, right? Yeah, you can't eat gluten though. Sorry, my bad. I was yeah, just trying to be nice. Every man got a little snackers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a. It's That's a, all right. You're like Novak Djokovic. He yeah, has yeah. a gluten-free diet, and yeah. he's like a great tennis player. So I'm just, good. I'm just saying for the man, them. We everyone's got little snackers, you know. Mm. Mm, every man's snacking, so it's blessed. Um, but yeah, radar radio. Uh, probably everybody knows this by now. Sure. That um, they've been allegation. They have allegations of um, of you know. When it, going, like it's, it's, it's hard to say. Can you please? Can you please? Okay. Go? Well, basically, more or less, there have been instances. Yes, instances where let's just say there have been de- female DJs or female um, employees of the company who have experienced male um, coworkers saying something that's you know offhand, saying something that's not acceptable, derogatory, derogatory and kind of obviously very sexual, like sexualizing obviously the women there um, or the workers there in any capacity. There have been instances where they've someone has made that complaint, and the complaint was kind of funneled through, yeah, but swept under the rug, and they've done it so many times. From my recollection, from my kind of um research of things, what I've seen is obviously they've swept under the rug, and they've done so in a manner that was very unjust to the person, and obviously as far as it goes for a HR department, they didn't do what a HR department should do. So yeah, they've the, done the way they handled it, the way they handled the mm-hmm. situation mm-hmm. was not right, and obviously, as people know, um, the one that started it off was Pussy Palace, their DJ click, more or less. Yeah, they're 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 mm-hmm. about you know women empowerment mm-hmm. and what they stand for, and um, they've had to post it on Instagram why they're leaving, the reason mm-hmm. why, but they'll be keep going doing their events. Mm-hmm. Apparently, their events are live too. So, yeah. um, I've, I've, I'm. Aware of obviously the traction that they've picked up as a as a, as a, as a, as a, as a collective because yeah. not even radar I mean like Pussy Palace or whoever else because there's a lot of collectives who do that kind of things are very inclusive, very open minded and pro just being just to everyone that they can yeah, be yeah. and I appreciate that obviously we live in an age where people who 
you know, organizations and collectives have been set up of that capacity and they've put through shit to pull down companies that are run by the fucking son of... That's real shit. The, football the football son football. of... Um, uh, the guy Newcastle. who owns Newcastle, the Newcastle. guy who owns yeah. Sports Direct. Yeah, Mike Ashley. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. When I found that out, I was like, what? Yeah. yeah That's mad. crazy. And the thing but, is... And it's not even black owned. It's crazy. Yeah. Exactly. Like, which which is really weird. It's mm. not like I'm t- taking this to, to you know, yeah. a black owned. <laughs> yeah. Of course, not, of course not. But it was just because wasn't everyone's assumption at the time was... It would be black owned exactly and yeah. as like, well so I, 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 that was my assumption anyway and it's not I'm not being mm-hmm. um, harsh in, in a racial, racial way yeah, but yeah. that was just my assumption and then when I found out it was like a dude that got money from his mm-hmm. pops who owns yeah. the Newcastle football club <laughs> from, my, from my point of view Sports the way, Direct I'm like from bro. my point of view what they did not necessarily what they did okay sorry I think what they did wrong was or when it started when I started to notice it was very recently that's why I'm like oh everything just happened so quickly there was an, a segment where a DJ and I think, was it Jammer Man? I'm not really sure who it was. They were... In oh, the Jammer. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah Jammer. I've seen, seen Yeah, that. so it's like, oh, he goes in on him. He goes and he's in like, on him. Basically, the DJ's there, but the DJ's being very smug. The DJ isn't necessarily being respective of the culture, yeah. of the music. Of grime. And yeah, so, he, so I think one of the arguments was, oh, so you've had people who are kind of coming up in the studio and obviously it's like young MCs who are you know obviously Bring battling each other yeah so they're battling each other and obviously you're doing this and you're doing it on radio and, and you put it on you're, YouTube yeah whatever you're doing with it you're getting money out of it yeah. you're not giving money back to these kids you're not giving them a platform you're just using them as an opportunity to yeah. say oh yeah we you know we have you know street yeah. street you coming up and you know spitting and whatever yeah. but, but, like, the thing, but the thing with Jammer um, he was standing for um, those people mm-hmm. that give radar radio content not getting paid. Yeah, yeah exactly. That, that's that what was his main. That's what I meant. Thing, which, so he was um, like, they're freely, they're getting content off these kids, and he was like, so what? When you guys put it on YouTube, do you not know if you get money? And he was being very smug, and he was like, I don't know, and he was just being very disrespectful, but especially the, to, but, to but the thing is, but the that, thing is, I think his mentality was, um, I'm just here to work. I don't yeah. know about any of that shit. Don't ask me. Mm, exactly. You can't be, you that can't was be ignorant. Mentality. You can't be ignorant though, yeah. man. And the position that you're in, I mean, being on a radio is not an easy yeah. job. It's not I'm not going to lie. If I was on Radar Radio, mm. like, just like interviewing Jammer, I'd be a, such a fanboy, bro. You mm-hmm. have to be. And the thing is, even... But I, I don't think he was. He doesn't... Yeah, I, he, he didn't give a that, shit. That he DJ did not care. And that the thing the is, DJ like, did not care. Like I was telling you yesterday, when I first moved here to, to the UK, I wasn't really a fan of the UK music. Yeah. But I've grown to understand its importance and I've grown to like it. If I was in his position, I'd at least show respect because I yeah. know what he. Yeah. You know who Jammer is. Because Jammer, yeah, like, Jammer started shit. Yeah, like he, but he was a part. Even though it may, we can say Wiley started everything. Mm-hmm. There's more deeper nation to it, mm-hmm. but to the extent of us, the pop culture anyway, pop culture noticing grime yeah. as something was Wiley. Mm. We could say Dizzy. We could say Tiny too, uh, to a certain mm. extent. We could say. Um, Skepta now we can stay mm. uh, Stormzy. Uh, I I personally think Lowski is gonna break a certain barrier at some point. Mm. I think Lowski is gonna do something with, especially yeah. with the he's a driller, exactly. but he's a su- <laughs> sweet boy at the same mm. time. So yeah, that's so a, it's mad. But that's the, that's the thing. I mean, the thing is, you have already, like you said, obviously Lowski, and he's gonna without a doubt, he's gonna pop. I think Lowski is gonna be one of those guys. Sneak Bow's coming back. Yeah. Um. I think Youngin's trying to do something right now. Mm. So you got a lot of people. That's the so, thing. You yeah. got a lot of people. And yeah. Crept and Conan done it for time too. Yeah. Well, and they the women like Stefan Don. And yeah. Exactly, right? And you've got the new chick. I forgot her name. Miss Banks. Miss Banks is yeah. killing it too. Lady yeah. Leisha killing yeah. it right now. So... So that's the thing. You you have Radar Radio, which was coming up and having a voice. It's, for un- all it's these... not even that old. It's not. No. It's three years old. And it has... Three years it old, It provided bro. a platform and it provided a voice for people to kind of... You know, people of a culture where, you know, you weren't necessarily governed by labels you weren't governed by people saying okay so this is what the radio wants this is what that wants these people are making their own music yeah. and there's such a factor in giving them a voice that Radar abused it yeah. as well so there's I feel I feel like such a nuanced argument or such a nuanced thing not even an argument because it's already kind of obviously agreed that they fucked mm. up that they didn't do it just they didn't do it right and they thought that they could just make a quick Achoo. bless, bless you, you, bless you my God, bless and they thought they could make nice. a quick buck and get away with it but guess what yeah, the, not today, Satan. It's, it's yeah, not today, Satan. Exactly. And um, shout out to all the people that left. Exactly. Yeah, radar um, as well. yeah. I was gonna man like conduct man like conductor. Conductor, yeah. yeah. Um, Big Zoo left. Yeah, one day, fam. Shut up, Harry. 
Um, she used to work there. Yeah, she did too. Um, the Receipts podcast left. I don't know if... Um, three Shots. Three Shots have said anything though. I haven't read anything about mm. them saying they've left did, left a recording there. But mm. um, yeah, shout out to everybody that have left. Oh. Like, Obviously, you're there as a a power move yeah. um, because you want to stand for something. Mm. But um, what I think that, H, as you said, um, yeah. what H, the HR department should have done or the whole company in general, mm. Uh, regardless if you work there or not, or you're just associated with them, mm-hmm. have a meeting with the big guy and uh, with the guy who owns the place yeah. and say, "What's going on?" Like, have an actual meeting and talk yeah. with everybody, mm-hmm. find out what what's been said, find out everything. I think that would have been a a logical thing to have mm-hmm. first because all the stuff that we've heard from Radar and certain other places, mm-hmm. there was no meeting about it. It was just abruptly there, mm-hmm. right? And the ap- apology they put up was dead. Yeah, like, bro, yeah. Like it was on the website. Like, yeah. They didn't Even put it on Instagram. They didn't market it properly. It was just on the website. A lot of people did some bad apologies this week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out Maya. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Maya Jama. Oh, Maya Jama. Oh, but the thing is, yeah. it brings me to the case. Yeah, <laughs> I, wanna, I, I haven't seen these tweets. I'm just saying I haven't it's, seen yeah, these Yeah, it's tweets. a retweet that she made. But... Um, people were just rinsing her. Yeah. Uh, I mean, rightfully so. You shouldn't be. But she did an apology for the apology, which is crazy. Yeah, it was That's a mad dead apology. <laughs> Who the fuck says twice. that shit? Not yeah. only to dark skinned women, but to all women. Fam, it was about dark skinned women. Can you chill? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's, what, that's what bugged me, and I was like. But the thing is, how long was it ago, by the way? A while back, man. Like, a while. I didn't. Like, the thing is, like, I'm not going to say at least five years. Exactly. Yeah, yeah so I don't think we should judge her. F- I think these people are trolling so much when they look back in p- other people's tweets. <laughs> like, they just want to put... Because imagine, yeah, Maya, she's on adverts in all over the world right now yeah. with Gap. Mm. I think Maybelline, she did something. Mm. I don't know, but... <laughs> I'm just um, saying. Shout outs but, to her, but yeah, at the same her, time... I'm just saying, It's like, just saying, you don't... And I agree with this. The thing is, like, we shouldn't necessarily worry about shit that's five years old or whatever years yeah. old. If if she tweeted that at that moment, there should have been people. That she she should have had enough of a conscience to say, "Oh, that's not right." Yeah, and I'm sorry. And obviously, whatever the growth is, obviously the growth period. Growth, obviously, yeah, take that into consideration. In those five years, that's mm-hmm. one thing. But obviously, Definitely. you know, if someone says something fucked up, don't don't let them go for it. like you don't want someone to who. Whatever in the position that they're in, yeah. say something fucked up. It's I, guess. Crazy, I don't know. Man. That's just it's that's crazy, just that's just I guess it's the way crazy, that the media's yeah, media's been crazy out here. Media's mm. been crazy, but um, or people just want it to be obviously. Uh, speaking of controversy, yeah. <laughs> all right, let me just let me just segue it nicely. All right, what I'm saying is even with the consi- with the, with the thing with radar, when you're when someone brings something to you and they're making serious allegations or they have serious concerns, yeah, just take them seriously because that's their personal. Like, like that's a personal concern of this, theirs that they have, and it's something that's very near and dear to them, or something that they feel has been breached. Yeah. So what I would say is just be serious about it. Listen, be compassionate, fam. Like, don't be don't <laughs> be half-assed about caring. That's what I'm trying okay, to say. Okay. And which brings though. us to let me let me segue it nicely. Okay. Let's bring it let's bring it in nicely. Oh. Um, you guys know Shukri. Um, me, Shukri Ryan, and another friend. Shout out me. Um, we're out, and we were just chilling the other day, and we. Met a Trump supporter. We didn't meet them. They had... He, he was a Trump supporter. So basically, we were chilling <laughs> Let's with... Let's be honest, like... Yeah, so basically, we, have a, yeah, so we were chilling with his brother, who obviously wasn't visibly a Trump supporter, but the other brother came through, and we weren't even talking. It's just that he was the table next to us. Yeah. We knew him, and he had that shirt. Yeah. And obviously, the girls noticed, and shook, shout out to her, Shukri. She goes, that's a Trump shirt. And he was like, yeah, that's a Trump shirt. And I was like, oh, hell, here we go. But the thing and is... she was... Yeah, so long... Yeah, go ahead. But That's like, the long story, so during... Because I don't want to get too much in detail because the way... What you were saying is very... Uh, it, no, both of you, what you guys were speaking facts and I want to take too much... He wasn't speaking facts. No, 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 but I'm just saying his he has his own facts that he believes in. You you know what I mean? Yeah, but... You, you know, but... Obviously, obviously, you don't believe in those facts. Th- those aren't facts to you. But I'm just saying that they're not he, relevant facts to what course, we're talking course, about. Of course, of course, of course. They're but, facts, but not relevant. But to he's what speaking about. His, the facts that he knows and he appreciate and he is compassionate about, right? He's not compassionate. About well, I know, <laughs> I know. He, he, but the thing is, but he was doing it for a reaction. We all know Trump supporters do I certain things for a reaction. I at this point, doubt he was doing it for a reaction. I feel like he. Well, to Shukri, it, he wants Shukri, he wanted Shukri to square up. No, if he did, he would he would have sat next to her. No, 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 no. But the thing is, because Shukri kept mm. shout out to Shukri. I'm just I'm, it's just because yeah, 
I mean, he, bro, he, he, he knows he couldn't touch her. Yeah, she, regardless of yeah, yeah, yeah I know, what, I know what you mean because like, it's it's you know what I mean it's yeah. just especially with us. I kept myself silent because one, I did not have a right to say anything in your discussion. Exactly. I had I had no exactly. if if I said something. Mm. But the thing you is guys like, would have probably looked at me like what? No, if you're calling out someone for being wrong, no one's gonna stand in the way of. No, but it. I'm just saying that conversation you guys were yeah, having exactly, at that time. Exactly, I did not have a right to say anything. But, but if, like I'm saying, if it happened and you were there and we weren't, or whatever it was, Volca- there was a white guy who was next to us and who came up to him and he was like, "Fuck Donald Trump" to his face. That's the yeah. one thing that bugged me the most about him. And when I said it, he goes up and he tells me to fuck off. Or no, he said, "Fuck you." And I'm ter- I, like, I left. I was ready to leave. I was done with this shit. But let me just explain to you how I'm genuinely, I genuinely believe he wasn't a compassionate person or an understanding person. He comes up to me and he says, "Black people are concerned about the wrong things because Black Lives Matter is not something." He he said, "I don't agree with it." And I was like, "What do you mean?" He said, "It's vocalized. Basically, it's trying to." I told him these people were killed unlawfully, right? Mm. The police used a measure of force that should never be used unless there's a pressing factor. There was a guy, Eric Garner, rest in peace. He had cigarettes on him. They weren't explosive. They weren't lethal. They weren't nothing. They were just illegal cigarettes. And they choked him in front of his kid. That shouldn't be happening. And he was trying to justify that to me. Mm. Sandra Bland, she was killed in prison. They tried to take a picture of her while she was dead. The mugshot literally is after she died. This should not have happened. The conduct that's being taken place literally has an undertone line of, or a message rather, that says black lives don't matter. Yeah. So when he comes and he says, I don't agree with black lives matter, yeah. and at the same time says, I think black people are worried about the wrong thing, that's very contradictory. Yeah. Why are you going to be concerned about what black people can, or care about but at the same time, dismiss them when they say Black Lives Matter. Because yeah. Black Lives Matter is not in any capac- any <clears throat> any measure destructive. Yeah. It's not exclusive to the livelihoods of just black people. It v- it doesn't say black people should be the only ones whose lives are contr- um, protected. It just says, give us a fair opportunity. Yeah. And that's what he disagreed with. Yeah. And that's the part that bugged me. Yeah. I'm sitting here with you in a in a very social setting. And you're not letting me speak as well. That's the one. It's one, like, whoever, bruv, human beings have conversations every day. Yeah. If I'm talking to you, I I interject you repeatedly. I'm a dickhead, am I not? Yeah. You can we, s- we do that all the time, but at the same time, but we're we boys. Also, because we're boys. And we know what we we're going to say kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we he know each other He didn't let me well. finish yeah. at all. I would mm. say half a sentence and he would jump in and rant for like two minutes. Mm. I would let him finish. I told him repeatedly. I was like, yo, I'm letting you finish. I've done that. And I yeah. respectfully let you say whatever you want to say, even though I don't agree with it. Mm. But I'm going to have to let you tell, let you to give me my time. And he didn't. Mm. So when it got to that point, and he did that repeatedly, and after the point, he stood up in the face of Shukri, a black woman. <clears throat> and I understand from many points of view how Trump supporters, and Trump himself demean and dismiss and dehumanize black women. Yeah. He was ready to fight her, like you said. Yeah. He didn't have shit for me until I squared up to him. Yeah. The which the, which is what which I want to get into exactly little, uh, of my side of what I, I exactly. felt during that moment, but um obviously Chad's hearing hearing this for the first time. What do you think of when you hear some a, a guy say that with a Trump shirt on in public and happy to wear that? And we didn't even get to pants, man. Oh, yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I Go mean, ahead, I agree with you, ish. Obviously, uh, like. Like, we're humans. We should be able to just have conversations. Like, the world is a pretty shitty place. And at least exactly. the best way to make it less shitty is to, I guess, understand each other. And it's like... What do you say, James? I don't know. James, you said something? Oh, I thought you said something. something. Oh, okay. Because oh, I thought we all heard Yeah, that. right. Yeah, we all heard <laughs> something. <laughs> and then, um... See, I can, I can appreciate your frustration. And, yeah. Well, that's why I live here, man. Because... It's, it's, it yeah. could be way worse. Like it's it's not great here either, but right. that's another conversation. But it's yeah. not. But like at least we can have safe spaces. A yeah. dialect. A di- like, yeah. dialogue. Sorry, sorry. A dialogue. Di- dialogue. 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 <laughs> that's what I love about the power yeah. of radio because yeah. the yeah. Fa- though our faces isn't on it, we, yeah. and the power of free speech, we can kind of yeah, just yeah, we can do whatever. But and we shout can out just, to, what's um, our opinion? Our educated opinion. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and shout know. out to shout out to I'm um, sorry, Tracy Morgan, who was on um the Bre- sorry not the Breakfast Club, Jesus America the other day, and he preached one thing that I surprisingly agree with, even though his comedy is a very raunchy kind of yeah um, um, style of it. He said we need to be able to live <laughs> and love. <coughs> Treat everyone you with 
as much of a capacity of love that you can. Capacity <laughs> is Ish's word. Because it's such a beautiful word. blanket might, term. I'm it, sorry. It, no, it, 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 I'm just saying now. Find out how to trademark your shit because mm. you say that. I can show you how to yeah, trademark. Yeah, yeah, you got that. You got that. <laughs> so yeah, call, like so we, we gotta be about love, fam. Like so I. As much as I'm anti-Trump and I know the shit he's done, yeah. not only to women. Like the the first statement I made was, Trump is not someone who's considered women, people of color. You tried people. to involve me. I said, I said everyone. You tried. You, yeah, I said people. You, you tried to like. You literally people. were just like, and and also people of color. Exactly. I'm right next to you and I'm listening and I'm I'm like literally because I want to what I want to get from my side of the story is, obviously I wanted to say something. Yeah. But your conversation was not about. Me, me as an Asian person, so mm-hmm. uh, me voicing my opinion wouldn't mm-hmm. have made sense because then he would have more ammo to try to find more ammo for himself mm. to use. Because I'm also part, obviously, part yeah. Spanish too. Mm-hmm. So Hispanic and Latin culture is also mm-hmm. could be involved. He's gonna try and use that. So I'm not gonna give him that ammo. I'm not gonna give him to extend because when you stood up and mm-hmm. left and said fuck Donald Trump, I I was like yes, at least there's no. I, thank God you gave me the cue because I was saying some shit and he said, whenever you want to leave, I was like, all right, got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, he literally just nodded. He and I like, waited for the next moment for him to interrupt me. Surprisingly, it wasn't even a fucking minute that passed. Yeah. And he said that and I walked off and I said, fuck Donald Trump. And I hear, fuck you. And I turn around. I'm not a, I'm not a fucking... No, no. Rev, I'm not no. a standoffish person. I'm a fucking... I try to be as calm and but as, I'm just saying, as I can. But go ahead. But I'm just saying, when you turned around, I saw your eyes... And when he stood up, he was ready. To, I saw a fist already. So he was ready to clock, you, uh, start something, right? My reaction is to stop you first. I'm not paying attention to the white man. I'm sorry, James. Uh, don't take this the wrong way. But <laughs> I'm not focusing on the one person. Because I, I know you more than him. I've only, known, yeah. I've only seen him for half an hour. I, I, know, right. I don't know. Done the talks. Mm. So my focus is on to get you out. Because one... We're both with girls. Because Shukri, when you were talking to him and mm-hmm. Shukri was trying to butt in, mm-hmm. I bet you before, even halfway through before you left, mm-hmm. Shukri would have squared up to him time ago. No, she definitely would have. That's, that's why I was telling you, Shukri, just chill, stop. She looks at me in my eyes and says, oh shit, I'm, giving, I'm giving him ammo. I'm giving him a reaction that mm-hmm. he wants. So she just notices that. Even though she tries to do, I'm like, you know, like, you know why you mm-hmm. need to stop. So... During that time, I'm focusing on him to get him out because when a man says, oh, I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. No, you don't. You want to fuck? You, you want to give mm. him a defus. Like, mm. you want to give him a swing. So that's my reaction. But imagine our surrounding at that time was mainly white. But the thing is... but uh, No, just let me finish. Mm-hmm. Just because, one, they're not going to focus on that white man. They're going to focus on the commotion that me and you are doing. So their their assumption is going to be, yo, you know what I mean? Yeah. So my focus is to get you. Oops, sorry. My phone trying to go off and shit. Um, my focus is on to you to get out mm-hmm. because it could have escalated worse. You know, I, I have this thinking now of what what ifs, mm. what ifs can actually occur now in this in our in our generation. In our um, with like when your parents say, "Oh, um, what if you would have been there? What if you so forth?" Yeah. It can happen anywhere now. It doesn't matter yeah. if you say a "what if." Mm. So, my my thing was to get you out because the the owners of that place or those bodyguards would have called. What if they call feds? They're not. They're not looking. They're not looking for the white man. They're looking for you because you're the, the. Their eyes are you're the aggression, right? Mm. So, my focus was to make sure I don't have to see and Shukri too Shukri and May they don't have to see you in, um, get an altercation with feds and if they are involved mm. you never know what they could have been through the mm. representation of black people uh, black not black people but black women especially mm. uh, right at this moment in time even with related to Radar Radio mm-hmm. that would have been yeah we, we I don't know where we would be we would be talking so my first reaction is to get you out mm. and make sure that you, you were vexing me like, mm. oh, why did you back me up? I'm like, I don't need to back you up. I'm making sure that you, you don't, you're not in a fucking, you, no one's t- paying for your bail. Bro, the thing is, because you me, never know. Mm, exactly. But for me, the thing is like, and you I'll understood that after five minutes of me being angry. 
<laughs> yeah, but like at the same time, from me knowing myself, I wouldn't have thrown the first punch. So whatever I would have done would have definitely been in self defense. Yeah, I course. try to be as calculated course, as that. Of course, I try to be as calculated as that. But even in a second regard, when I was walking up to him, there was a second where I looked back and I made sure the the guards or the bouncers noticed to make sure that someone was coming up. And by the point where I reached him, I don't know how my mind was working, but I know for a fact I wasn't going to throw a punch. Yeah. I wanted them to see that I was completely calm, even in my anger. I did have my fist balled up, my face was calm, and my voice, even though it was slightly tensed, I wasn't bugging out. Yeah. So I was literally about to tell him, whatever the fuck I was about to tell him, at that moment, I don't know what I would have said, yeah. but I guarantee you it would have been a word. And I wanted them to deal with that, uh, that thing. And the thing that fucked me up the most, apart from the whole entire situation, the bouncer who took me with, away was an Asian brother. A Pakistani guy. Yeah. And I know his cousins. He's a little bit older, but I know his cousins. And I looked at him. I was like, you know, the literally, the like, he didn't even have to hear the entire conversation. He yeah. heard the last bit where I said, fuck Donald Trump. And he said, fuck you. Yeah. It's because I think it's because he's, he's not, he didn't hear the entire conversation. He's working. He just he's had to hear that bit. Yeah. He had to know what it was about. Yeah. He didn't see me throwing a punch and get aggravated. He yeah. just saw me walk up. I know what you mean, but he's doing his, also his job. But... You've got, is, you've got to think about that too. But like, the thing is, whoever you are, you shouldn't be working in a capacity to mute these kind of things. You know what would happen. Yeah, if you did course. the right inter- investigation, you would have kicked him out. But, but he didn't. But, but let no, me finish. No let me finish. Man, no man did too. Exactly. Let me finish. The thing that he did that really fucked me up, and I'm pretty sure he did this as a fucking person, and not as a fucking bouncer, he told me, bro, I understand. Let me just go outside and let's have a word together. I was like, all right. At that point, he didn't even have to push me. I said, all right, we can walk out. I was 100% calm. I said, you don't have to push me. We can walk out. He said, okay. I step outside. I look behind me. Who's there? You, Shukri, and me. Not him. And that's the part that really fucked me up. I walked up and I said, where's this guy? He said he was going to talk to me. But he didn't. Yeah. And he knows what that conversation would have been. Yeah. But he didn't come up to that point and do that. So what I'm saying is you don't necessarily have to be a black person to stick up for someone who says black lives don't matter. You have to be a person who understands that black lives do matter and where it's coming from. Yeah. You have to be an ally. An ally means someone who's willing to call out whoever the fuck says anything against yeah. whoever. Yeah. Not just against black lives matter. Yeah. And that's what, one thing that really fucked me up. That annoyed the fuck out of me. That showed me that we really... I don't want to be that guy who says, oh, we need to make progress. But we really need to make progress. If you as a person can't, and your job, dedicate the small two, three minutes and come out and say, I'm sorry, the way it's, it's the way it is. Da, 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 da. There's something wrong there. Yeah. That's the part that yeah. fucked me entirely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's my whole entire take on the thing. Yeah. Like, I'm not a violent person and this shouldn't have happened in any measure. Yeah. He's wearing a Trump shirt, wearing fucking an England. Yeah. <laughs> Trump was not having ballots taken here, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. But, you, so. you, but when I told you, like, my focus wasn't on Exactly. You know? I, I appreciate that. Because man. I'm making sure that yeah. you don't have to deal with people who exactly. pay your bail money. That's Be- the thing, because And that's, that's the thing, like I appreciate like, that. Because the thing is like you definitely have a point because that shit, if it got in that, into that stage, yeah. because we'd be in a fucked up what situation. What ifs, the what ifs can turn mm. into something now. We live in a time that we, den- like when our parents, like you said, we live in a time where the, our parents' what if is a possibility. Yeah. Can, like, can always happen. Like regardless of what you think. Like, mm-hmm. So that was my thinking. It wasn't about exactly. me being angry at Trump support. I don't mm. like Trump supporters regardless. Right? So no one, no one does. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> I'm just saying because my focus is now not you know that specific thing. Mm. You know what I mean? Exactly. Man. So even though I know you were passionate about it and I knew that you wanted to speak your mind and, and that's why I, I kept myself silent because yeah. if I butt in, I don't know what you gonna say. Right. No, 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 bruv, come on, man. No, 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 but I, I, I'm just making sure, like, I don't know what you're going to say. <laughs> <laughs> this Rich could have said anything, True. like, if he True. involved me, you know, so I'm just... About ready to flame a motherfucker. Yeah, you were ready to flame anyone. Boy, so I'm keeping, I'm keeping Shukri sh- uh, even yeah. quiet, too. And May's just looking at, May's looking at me, like, mm. yo, make sure, like, look, um, talk to Ish quickly, like, whispering to him. And I could see from her eyes, like, she was a bit, she was a bit worried, like... Shout Imagine them, anything, such, but yeah, but that's the that's a that's an experience. Yeah, sorry, you had to experience that, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm happened. glad I wasn't there because that's what I mean. I have, I have a lot less tolerance than you in it, and yes, yeah. I appreciate that too. I don't want to be the like 
in those situations, you don't want to be the stereotypical angry black guy. But, yeah. bro, if it got to be, it got to be. Cookie said, bro, <laughs> it would turn from a conversation that's, that, of... That's why I mean, if the other man that we were with was still there, we we would see... You know what I mean? So it's luckily that I was the only one there to make sure, like, yo, get out. Make sure that we don't have to deal with you with feds or Shukri with putting out a statement or mm. various yeah. things. Day two, man. Worry about, think about day two. Yeah, mm-hmm. day, think about... I'm not thinking about the uh, now and you being angry or... Because one-off, I can't go back there. I need to go back there. To, I needed to go back there the next day. <laughs> so... Bro, like that's a place of like social, social aware, social sociality. Sorry, mm-hmm. so I don't know if that's a proper word to use, but <laughs> it's not. Yeah, I know. Most likely, ain't no one. In a social setting, it's a social <laughs> setting. It's a social setting to use that everyone uses, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where what were if, you? Where were you? Um, I don't want to even. We don't want to. Okay, uh, never mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just because you know. They, you know. They, yeah, we need to get paid for that shit. Yeah. Um, but you know what I mean, like. A social setting that everybody uses, it, and if they assume like, um, if another person of color, whether it be black, Asian, or anything else, mm. that's not white, just comes in and said, uh, comes in there and said, they're just keeping an eye on you every time. You know what I mean? Boy. But you never know. That's why I'm saying that was my. I'm reaction. proud of myself, oh man. Shit, I was polite and petty at the same time. Yeah, that's what I mean. First thing, I'm making said, sure like you game, keep that yeah. politeness. Bro, come on, I was polite and petty. The first thing he said, <laughs> blacks. I was like, well, first of all, it's not blacks. It's blacks. I was just, I was just being. Yeah, but his, boy, his, yeah. yeah, but um, that's some crazy shit, boy. Crazy shit. But yeah, let's get into some um other shit. We had Ooh. to get rid of the. Foolishness. Hang on, I got something to say right now because there was something you said last episode that I fucking looked into. Oh, what? Samuel Ito ain't done shit, motherfucker. Oh, he's <laughs> he not done shit. He ain't done shit. What was it? He's then? free, fam. <laughs> he's good free. For, my nigga, free. Fam. Good for him. <laughs> Do your research, my friend. He said Global 360 News. That's not even real. <laughs> I just saw it's the like post. I saw Bro, the post. I, I should have known. I should have known because the police arrested him was Negroes. I was like, Turkey ain't got no Negro cops. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, at least we cleared that. up that fake news. Right? I'm so glad he ain't arrested, though. <laughs> Shout out to Samuel <laughs> Eto'o. Keep behaving yourself, bro. Nah, man, Yo, apparently miss- Samuel Eto'o literally has a reputation. Yeah, like man. Like a big ass reputation. Yeah, I don't know anything. Man. Shout out, shout out but- to Pookie, who, Cookie who put me onto that shit. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> but I, but I, as soon as I read He has it, been misbehaving. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just saw the mm. post on the, on the gram and yeah, I'm like, bro. oh shit. Boy. So that's my first reaction. I just want to bring it up as a comedic fact. Two mad different faces. Like Mace. To find my way And now I know that happy days are not far away If I'm strong enough I'll live long enough to see my kids Doing something more constructive with the time Than biz I know because I've been there Now I'm in there Sit back and look at what it took for me to get there First came the bullshit The drama with my mama She got on some fly shit So I split And said that I'ma be that seed That doesn't need much to succeed Strassed up man Um, but yeah, let's get into the, our music section, man. I don't want to get into this some shit. What you got for us? This um, week's intro and outros with you, fam. So you yeah, better, I'm, I'm you lost. better do a good job. Yeah, I, I'm lost. So you're, you you're guys lost. Go first. I'm lost. Oh, okay, I thought you said you lost. Uh, so you go, you go, you guys go take one at a time. Okay. So who wants to go first? Man, like Chadwick. I can go first. Yeah. Alright, cool. I shazammed this song on Wednesday. Okay then. At the gig I had in London. Shout out to Lloyd Llewellyn. It was a great gig. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, you know when they play like like the music in the background before it, the show starts or whatever. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And Okra by Tell the Creator came on. You not hear that song? Yo. It reminds me of that Sean Leon joint. Yeah. 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 That's for sure. Set. Uno the shoe, red with the blue, look like a flat, what the fuck it do? God be the set, no more F, like we're on our test, but you ain't for your neck, we will fuck about you. All your respect, yeah, that way, fuck your accolades, but I made the cut like a pack of blades. You could call me brush, I've been making waves since Ashley Banks, cause I had a fade, but that's 92, I'm 91. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, the new one, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyler the Creator. Tyler the Creator, dope. Alright, Ish, go. Bro, don't even try me right now, cause man's been all over the place with the music these days. Jesus Christ, just one song. Just Need one, show. like you Need scroll show. past five, I can see it in the yeah. reflection. I your know, sunglasses. but like five, ten at least. I'm trying to pick something that I'm fucking with heavily, <laughs> Hev- heavily, heavily. Um, I so what we gonna go for? Yeah, is uh, <laughs> yes. um, tropical by SL. Tropical by SL. SL. <laughs> okay. That's a good choice. And DMX is slipping because we didn't put that on last week. I'll said. put that on. Put that, that cut on. him down by 20. Wait, no. 5 to 1. Yeah, 5. 
five to one so I smoke Let me sip on my tropical juice and let me smoke this tropical weed B, I got a medicine of flavours, don't think that this shit comes cheap So bitch, don't moan, when I charge 15 for a D It's just a little nigga in his zone, grind hard can't stone these streets Mish mash and I'm doing it all, dip splash and I'm getting in peak Yeah, yeah, what you got for us, man? It's, it's, it's been a stressful week for me to choose my songs, dog. What sort of week have you, you been in your feels? No, he's always um, in his feels. Here and there, with his R and B head ass. I don't care. I'm happy to be an R and B head ass dude. Mm. So I don't care about your shit. It's a love making music. Mm. I hear you. Not every time, but you know. Okay. Gotta be done. Anyways, um, first song is. Um, from as you know, Toronto. Uh, uh, uh. Um, <laughs> from Toronto, Jow- but never been Toronto. Yeah, I'm good. I'm, 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 I'm excited, you know. I'm excited when I go. Um, but it's called Griselda Blanco. Uh, it's from Pengs and Tutu. Don't know. Shout out to the man the one time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pengs and Tutu. Yeah, I know. It was crazy when I found. Out, I was like, his his name, my uh, rap name is Pengs, and the other rap name is Tutu. It's crazy. <laughs> Tutu's like, I was like, what? Tutu chicken. Uh, yeah, but the song's hard. Griselda Blanco is a good song. I'll play it. I'll play it when we get uh, when you finish. But um, my outro though is gonna be UK. Oh, homegrown talent. Yeah. Um, shout out to Bobby Lewis. Um, uh, he's a. I don't even I don't even know who that is. He's a he's a singer. Okay. He's a R and B. R and B. So <laughs> I'm just saying it is just because he's mainly he mainly works with a lot of people like Wretch. Okay, cool. Um, but he's not as well known as other R and B artists right mm-hmm. now. But he should have been. So, um, he did a song with Steph London. Uh, it's called uh, "A Friends and Lovers." Okay. It's a vibe, bro. Oh, I'll check it out when you put it on. Yeah, man. yeah, that'll be my outro for the for the thing. So since we're on the music topic, uh, albums that are coming out and songs, music videos, all that shit. First off, J Cole, Jermaine. Jermaine. I still haven't Jermaine listened Cole. to it. K O D. But yeah, I'm still processing that beautiful album, fam. It's beautiful album. It it's a it's a beautiful album. Shout out to everyone who's already agreed that it's better than For Your Eyes Only. Mm. Everyone's collectively. He's he James doesn't agree. You don't Ooh. agree? Wow. But that's his personal taste. Wow. I mean, I can't really... Because fr- for me, it's still Friday Night Lights is best project, right? So. Yeah. But we're talking about... But we, with the warm-up too. The warm I mean, Sideline Story was pretty good too. Yeah. For me, it's still too early. It's still too early to, to rank it. Yeah. Because it's only good. came out like three days ago. Yeah. It was good. It was yeah. good? But I can't say it was amazing because there was only six tracks on there that I liked. Yeah. And and for having yeah. an amazing yeah. album, you got to have... Majority, That's it's got to be consistent throughout the whole yeah. project. I agree with you. That's fair. I mean, the conversations I've had with people about it, they've said he's just gone way too conscious now. Because he's talking about where my taxes go, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, he's he's actually talking the talk now. Yeah. So, so, I guess people just want a bit more ratchetness from him, but but he did but, with um ATM kind of a little bit, right? He's balanced. It's, it's a balance. He's, he he's, balanced. He's out. always balanced. Which yeah. I yeah. appreciate, like KOD, the, mm. the title song. Yeah. That was fire to me. Like, yeah. Mine's need to check it out. Yeah, but what was the fact that you told me? Um, oh, the most beautiful thing that he... I mean, he's. I've always appreciated that he kind of... I, I love it whenever artists kind of like tweak their voices. It kind of put an effect on their voice to make it sound like a different... Different person. persona. Yeah. And he's done Like that Frank Ocean does that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's either high bitch or dope bitch. Yeah. And he's With, done... Um, he's, Lonnie... Is it, was no, no, no. Is it Lonnie something? It's Oliver Blonde. He's, it's Oliver Blonde. You know, like, the niggas on Nike, that weird voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Shout out to yeah. Like, on the video version as well, he, like, goes low. Yeah. And yeah. he goes yeah. high. Yeah. But it's... Yeah, so he... So, obviously, artists do like that. Do that, and it's fucking beautiful. Okay. And he's done that, and he's completely... Dis- not just completely, but slightly distorted his voice to make it sound like an almost a different person. And he called it an artist named Kill Edward, which is just That's amazing. weird. I mean, well, I mean my surname is Edwards, so. <laughs> kill, Edwards, <laughs> well, kill Edwards. So yeah, he already pr- he released a song about two weeks before the album got uh, dropped, I think, and someone noticed that it was hey, if you change it, it's already J Cole, because obviously without the precedence that it's J Cole, you wouldn't yeah. be like, oh shit, that's Cole. But yeah. he did that, and it's fucking amazing, and that's the only feature on the album. So still, yeah. he ain't got no features on the album. Yeah. <laughs> like, wow. J Cole featuring J Cole, which is. Same, same yeah. with other artists too when they mm. feature themselves or sample themselves. Like, mm. 
it's crazy, but that's a good album. To me, it's a good album. Mm-hmm. I, I I didn't it it if it was weird because when I first listened to it, I was just vibing out, just mm-hmm. enjoying the music. All I know is I love it. I yeah. don't know how much I rate it. Yes yeah, yet. it's too soon, right? Too I'm fast. looking forward to the Kanye album, though. Oh, yes, wow. and, the, and, <sighs> and the Kanye and Kid Cudi. Kid Cudi album. Imagine June 1st. You, I'm going to let you do a little homework and find out who did the artwork for that. Oh, I know. I know. Oh, you, you know. I know. I know. Yeah. It's probably the guy that's a Kid Trinata's one. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. No, no. What's his name? Ricardo or something? He's... Ricardo Tishi. I can't remember the guy who does. No, it's not Ricardo T. It used to be someone else. But um, I know I know who who who's mm-hmm. making the artwork for the mm-hmm. Kid Cudi and Ye well, album. It's I know it's a rumor yeah, though. It's, it's only a rumor. But um, I've saw I've seen the artwork itself. So I don't know. I mean, I'm no, no, I'm, no, st- no, I'm no, I literally no, I know the... I know what you mean. But yeah. that's only like um a version. Yeah. It could be. It could be. And that's like it's at the moment they haven't confirmed it yet. Yeah. Ye hasn't said anything. Yeah. So until Ye signs something, don't yeah. believe anything really. Of course. I um, love that he's back on Twitter though. Yeah, he's yeah, back on Twitter. I love like, that heavy. And he's saying I'm putting out my own book through a series of tweets. And no one, <laughs> like I don't have any publishing company. Like you read it as you go, and I'm yeah, like, and and his also, mind is mad. Yeah, and also like, have you noticed that he's using his Twitter as a new as a marketing person now? Yeah, because mm-hmm. he's he's releasing his version, his Yeezy collection. He's mm-hmm. yeah. showing what's going on. Yeah. He's showing the shoe cutlers that is coming out. Mm-hmm. What. Other shoes from the three fifty yeah. to the seven hundred yeah. to the five hundred. It's crazy. So um, yeah, we're getting. A, is it June first? June first. June, June first. It's a seven song album. And it's good June, to see him back um, creating. Sixth man. or eighth? I'm not really yeah, sure. Yeah, eighth. Eighth will be the K- Kid Cudi and Ye album collab album. I don't mm-hmm. know how many songs is gonna be on there. We get. We're gonna get a Pusha T album. Ooh, we're gonna yeah. get. We're gonna get a Tiana Taylor album. Uh-huh. I'm excited for that because seven was a hard album. Um, and push, then pushes pushes push needs to drop man yeah and then we're getting uh obviously we got we're getting the Drake album what else are we getting of course, no, of course. Yes. Of course. no Scorpion comes yeah. out in June yeah, we um, know. but there's another album too there's another album coming out in June but I just don't know who, who oh no I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take oh no it drops. um Georgia Smith okay then. okay she releases an album I think May or June I'm not too sure that'll be interesting um I think I'm excited for that because Maverick Saber's on there oh man, shout out to Mav I've written a song with Maverick Saber hey. Yeah, shout out to Matt Wills. Hey, no, you know who we should shout out? You know who we should really shout out? Chad Edwards. <laughs> Jesus, love. so you wrote? Nah. Come on, you man. wrote. A well, song. I just, I just played the keys on the song, but yeah, but you I was at played, the session. You've yeah. been on an album with Maverick Saber. Yeah, well, that's 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 Is that down the to Matt one Wills. Too? Nah, nah, that's quite old. Oh, okay, like a couple of years. But oh, shout out to Matt Wills because he's an artist that was working with this on his album. Yeah, I've heard that and name. He's, he's a big writer, right? No, he's on the come. I think you're thinking about Matt Willis yeah, from Busted. Think, from Busted. Yeah. He gets that. Oh, wow. That happens all the time. No, no, people, you know why? Like the wrong oh, people sure, tweeted. No, no, because I'm hearing loads of names of writers that apparently are really big in the them, scene. Whether it be from Bristol or London or whatever. This dude's written like musicals and stuff. Yeah, Matt that's Wills. what I mean. Yeah, yeah. he's cool. A- yeah. Ain't Busted the guys who said Stacey's mom's got it going on? Yep. That's hey. what I go to school hey. for. It's crazy, right? Shout right. Or year 3000. Right. Oh, mm. man. But they ain't yeah. got shit on Avril Lavigne and Blink-182, fam. <laughs> you really can't. Not McFly. Them. You know the McFly guy? Not yeah. McFly guy. Okay. Did you know they collab? They, they, yeah, they, they did Mc, McBusted. McBusted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was confused. I was like... <laughs> shout, out like shout out like a bootleg McDowell's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cheesed. <laughs> Not even a bootleg McDonald's, but a bootleg McDowell's. I'm cheesed. Um... So yeah, since we get out of that one, I don't know. Is there any other albums, music videos come out? Obviously, ATM video came out. I I've been liking them on music videos. Right? Yeah, I've watched that. Um, what else came out? Uh, music video wise, that's very very uh, interesting. Obviously, actually, um, Rap Man Shiro story. Woo! Um, that's one of the top two needs to drop. Trust me. Come on. Um, have you heard Cadet's closure as well? No. Cadet's closure, fam. Oh my! I've heard it's fucking amazing, though. Like, it's, it's it's on par with everything he's done so far. It's because have you heard Slut? Wait, when that drop? Years back. There's no, a there's a freestyle either. called Slut. Okay. Mm. And he turns, yeah, it's weird, right? But um, it's he turned that he was is a true story about him, why he's classed as from certain women as slut. And he's telling his reasons and stuff like that. Okay. But he's been slut shamed. Yes, oh. <laughs> but that that's his personal thing. But yeah. um, closure yeah. is a continuation of, of a that, different like story. Okay. Cool. Yeah. 
of his life. Okay. And when he was doing it, I said, fuck. This man has been through a lot. And then I was like, yo. When a girl says men are trash, I will always say now women are trash. <laughs> Look at yourself first before you call me men are trash, please. <laughs> I said that too. I said that to um, Tendai too. Shout out to Tendai. I'm going to be on Relationship, uh, an episode that's coming out soon. I don't know when it's coming out. But I've also got, we got a special thing for that one as well that's going to be releasing. That's So stay tuned for that. Dope, dope. But um, I said that to her like, oh, why do you find uh, why women are tr- uh, trash? She just asked me it. And I was just like, well, all the stories that we've been hearing the past few months, you know, women just doing crazy shit. You're getting set up to get beaten up by other mans. You're getting, you know, cheated on, various other things. That sounds so long. Yeah, I know. It's long, right? But I'm just saying now, when a woman says men are trash, I'll ask them, like, before you say that, make sure you're not trash and look at yourself in the mirror. (laughs) Because to us men, you could be close to trash too. So I'm just saying that too. Um, but look, yeah, there's also look at, this, look at this little men's activist we have here. We're not trash. Yeah, we yeah. got feelings too. Chivalry. Still but I'm exists. just saying it's just because too. Um, I, I've <laughs> thought about it. Sir. Do you think that boys are trash, not men? If in that makes sense. I mean, in that sense, everything's about maturity at the end of the day. Yeah, because maturity to me, I mean, it's maturity to me sounds like you're an adult. True. But in any capacity, emotional emotional maturity is something that That's these girls completely. really fucking like. They whoever she is, I remember girls in, like when they were sixteen and seventeen, they would complain, oh, "Guys aren't emotionally mature." I'm like, mm. I would think, what does that mean? And like throughout the years, I've noticed like that's why in some cases guys take a minute to kind of like re- react to their responsibility or know what they're kind of. Yeah. Need or like there is a difference between the 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 rate that growth rate and growth which girls have emotionally than guys. Yeah. And I think there's a there's an aspect of that too. It guys boys are sorry as you I guess quoted it. Boys yeah. Because trying to play cause, games. Because we were uh me and I was with Michael at the club. Yeah. With um. When, and any injuries. When was this? When you couldn't come in. When prison. Oh yeah, it's not big. Yeah. Did you leave your ID again? No, no. he was wearing trainers. Oh, okay. wearing these shoes. Um, <laughs> I know, right? Um, but can't get a break, man. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> but I'm just saying, just because uncles were moving to <laughs> yo. I when I saw that, I was just like, listen, ladies, beware of the uncles. Ah, <laughs> beware, the beware uncle. of these uncles that are over 30, 35 and trying to move to you. Like, mm. beware. <laughs> it's right? crazy and, uh, <laughs> it's crazy fam and then mm, and then yeah. I heard sto- I heard other shit too cause I saw some other people that were there and they were telling me certain things about the some dudes hollering at them I'm like boy I like how, how oh specific my, you are oh my god <laughs> right? there were some people saying something about somebody else but the else thing is I can't, something I can't had be at specific some place. cause they'll Ooh. know who they are I know but like Oh, they you, gonna can, be like, you can change the names and just tell us. I the can't circums- change the names. Or just go A met B. A met B and they did something with C. Yeah, but um, but this is a. I wanted to get a question because when um, mm-hmm. Tendai asked me for the show, like um, this is one of the questions from the show. Um, your relationship status. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Chad's been on an episode already. He was on the first episode. Pioneer. Yeah, yeah. pioneer for the mandem. Um, yeah. Shout out to relationship though. Yeah, shout out to Tendai and all yeah. that. And I said dating, but still, but single. <laughs> That's an interesting mm-hmm. response. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. my version of dating, the reason why I said that is because do you think dating is the next level to just get to know someone? I think I always thought dating was when you have the title of boyfriend and girlfriend. Right, because yeah, I know what you mean. But uh, what I uh, what I think is, I think it's just because of my thinking at that time, or when I was speaking to Tendai, was because you could go on one date, yeah, and just not talk to the guy again. Yeah, you can go on two dates, hmm. and after that, you yeah. Just, so that's not dating. Yeah, that's, that's, that's just. No, no. That's to, me, that's, to me, that's the I same f- thing too. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but I feel to a certain degree it is because when I was like, I could. You know, it, because when she asked me, like, what about the girl you, you've been on dates with? It's like, I'm assuming that uh, she's dating other men too because, one, she's very beautiful. Mm-hmm. All the women I've dated are de- definitely beautiful. You're not going to date someone that's ugly to you. Mm-hmm. So, 
and everyone has different tastes. Mm-hmm. So what I'm saying is just because I know for a fact all the women that I have dated personally, and you know, mm-hmm. Ish knows, and Chad knows too, mm-hmm. the women that I've dated are very beautiful. Bottom of the barrel, yeah. I mean, listen, man. I'm not saying that anymore. <laughs> I, I'm, trying, I'm trying to get that way, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, mm. when a woman is that pretty... Mm. Yeah, you'd expect them you're to be also doing their thing. Yeah, yeah, you're expecting other men to be Google going up yeah. to them. Because the thing with me... And gain their number, and then they're going to be finding out, you know, oh, what, he, what, what would he be like on a date? What he would... They're, they're going to be dating too, yeah. to a certain and the, degree. And the thing with me, if a chick doesn't... I'm, I just like to be very plain and just very straightforward yeah. in it. So yeah. if a chick has not made it obvious to me that she's interested or whatever, I'll literally just think, okay, she's probably friends yeah. on me or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. But that's just me. I just, not play the fool. I just, yeah. just in my mind, it, keeps, it helps me keep my sanity. Yeah. But if, when I said that to Tendai, Tendai kind of, it's just because she was saying, dating game's hard. And I'm like, it is, but it is. You, that's how you get to know a person. You're going through dating. Yeah. You're, it's, you don't. That's why if you think dating is a a stage for t- uh, a title with the relationship you're in, mm. that's that's a, that shouldn't no, be. It's supposed to just organically yeah, happen. It, it will organically happen while you're doing it. So that's mm. why dating to me is just um, talking to someone. But in a physical form, you're actually seeing the person, seeing their mannerisms, seeing what they're doing um, when they're interacting with a different person. Mm-hmm. So, dating, we could, to... I could, I, if I'm dating, if we're classing just uh, dating as a relationship, mm-hmm. I'd rather be talking to you on the phone if I'm just, um, just getting to know you, and that's yeah. fucked, yeah, right? I guess. So, yeah. me seeing you, uh, me dating multiple women does not mean I. I have ties to anybody or anything like that. I'm just trying to find what I like in a person. I think that point you should differentiate between talking and dating because I feel like when you're talking, that's you're just what, that's what I I I was I'm thinking as yeah. well as a dialogue in this conversation. Mm. When when is the time during dating you can class as you're being exclusive? You well, that's when you have that conversation, yeah. isn't it? But do, then, is there a time limit? And then when and then when you have that conversation and then it becomes exclusive, that's when you're dating. Yeah, you just that's whenever yeah. say for whenever the girl or the guy feels like it's a necessary topic to bring up, just yeah. bring it up and be like, so it's like the thing is, I feel like there's such a taboo around people trying to figure out what are we, what's going on here, whatever. Like, yeah, that's not another necessarily one too. willing to know what's up. So that's when gray areas exist, yeah. and obviously certain people don't know what the fuck they should be doing as opposed to what they shouldn't be doing, kind of. Thing. So, so do you think I was wrong for saying that then? Not necessarily. I've been. I feel like you gotta like draw the lines. Yeah, you gotta know what. Yeah. what's what. You, yeah. So because I think because when Tendai heard it, she just looked at me with like, "What? You just gotta <laughs> like." You know what I mean? You know how she is, right? So you just gotta clear it. Like clear the lines. Yeah, I cleared the lines yeah. after the episode, though. Yeah, because <laughs> after the episode. <laughs> after, no, because we did. Um... No, I mean like you should have cleared it up during the episode. No, I wish I did. But I guess you cleared it up now. Yeah, so. but, but that's, yeah, early, early. But I, we also have a special thing for um her. We did um. Me and Tenda, I did a collab thing. Oh, cool! Um, that's gonna come out with the episode. Right. So, um, that's gonna be exciting, and that's where I also say my version of what I'm saying now oh, okay. when it comes to da- the the title of dating. Mm-hmm. But um, that's the thing as well that I wanted to talk about. Really, um, do you guys have anything that you have to? We want to have a little chat about that you're curious about anything. Um, I can't be bringing out these shits like we're on a random, you know. I mean, that's your that's your relationship journey and shit. So you, know, you figure <laughs> I that can, out. I can I can no openly sense. say though. I can openly say that I'm dating only one girl. Uh-huh. Good for you, man. Good for you. Because shout it, out to her. Woo-hoo. Yeah, she listens. So yeah, yeah, shout out to her. She listens. Shout out homies. <laughs> <laughs> shout out her shout homie. Out my, yeah. Shout out my, no, yeah. my people. Them. Yeah. Okay. Oh okay. man, I'm gonna Sorry. be saying. I'm gonna speak to her. I will speak to her about it. She's gonna be like, oh, <laughs> so what's <that?"> okay. <laughs> you know, It's crazy, right? Oh, man. But yeah, nah, like, like dating's weird, man. I think dating's just weird. Yeah. Dating's a weird realm. Yeah. People have their own assumption of dating. Too, that's so. the, yeah. That's the, that's the point. Just talk about what the fuck you guys are doing, because like I've seen a lot of instances where. There's not that understanding or the mutual, yeah. like you know, understanding. Yeah. I'm gonna keep doing this. I, if you don't want me to, let me know. Like, there's not that understanding. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think women are scared to uh, 
I, I'm, I, I, this is just, I'm curious about with it. Are women scared to start having that conversation of what, of nah, what are we? I don't think so. I think if it's I guys think that usually, guys is. usually, right? Yeah, they don't want to look moist. Then, guys, right? Yeah, <laughs> I think women, <laughs> women, no, appra- no. women force it more. Yeah. Not force it more, sorry. Uh, uh, that's no, I know word. what you mean, but put it out. Put yeah, it out women, women yeah. tend to be the ones who would bring it up. Initiate that conversation, yeah. sorry, yeah. so to speak. Yeah, I feel so. I feel like that. I mean, it makes sense that they would, because more often than not, they would be the ones who would be concerned, not concerned, but like they would be the ones who would be thinking in that logical sense to yeah. kind of just draw the barriers. I think the less guys are up for saying, or not saying, but like, you know, putting forth the parameters of the relationship. Yeah. So I feel like girls would be the ones who would be ready to be yeah. like, yeah, so do's and don'ts, bam. Yeah. yeah. Um, just to set some guidelines, yeah, like, just some ground rules. Personal just, boundaries. Yeah. yeah. And it, oh. and if you, like you said, if you can't have that conversation, then... That's what we have. <laughs> What's the point? Yeah, it's communication is um important, regardless if you're dating, speaking to someone, or in a relationship, or you're married, and communications. People communication they, is key, fam. Yeah, but people take it for granted key, too, fam. because they don't. They the lack of communication. Yeah, they think that they're comfortable with it, but actually they're not. Bro. You know when we, you know when women are just like, um, when they say, oh, you, when you ask them. Oh, what's wrong? They're like, nothing, I'm okay. Using code, Why do that? Coded language. Why? Because yeah. you should know what you did. And I'd be like, no, because... <laughs> Why do we need to know? It's just... it's just. Like, I'm not going to lie. Our brains are wired differently. Yeah, but we do, not, not every time. Yeah. So that's I where guess. we would like... Women, that's why communication is... Th- women's mm. brains are like... Organized. It's, a, it's, it's like a massive ball of yarn, so everything is connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as soon as you have one thought, it would, might trigger um, something else. Whereas, whereas really? guys, we have Bro, boxes. Yo. So for every situation, we just refer to that one box. Right. Yeah. That you know what I mean? And then, so that's why it that misunderstanding can happen. Because I think a woman's mind. But women like forget box. that we only use boxes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got too much room yeah <laughs> so you have to like remind us like what happened like and we're not mind readers we're not mind readers yeah. so I think a woman and, like it's then our fault cause we we got that anyways go yeah. on, I think a woman's mind is almost like a jigsaw puzzle to a certain extent mm-hmm. because you're like you don't know you're trying to find the perfect thing to match what she feels and or what she's thinking or maybe we're two halves of a puzzle yeah yeah I yeah. don't. I don't. You know what bugs me out the most, more than anything, when guys are like, "I don't understand women." I'm like, just well, talk to him. I mean, <laughs> like we, like we said, communication is key. Yeah, just be yeah, like, "Oh, when, what does Tendai, this mean? when Tendai what does said that, that mean? when exactly. Tendai said that, I was like, "That's why I said educate me." Exactly. What's the? I, and I'm happy to say that. Please educate me because I want to understand and learn. Not all men can. Yeah, exactly. I, are happy to admit that because it's classed as soft. Yeah. Or a it's, sweet boy or yeah, whatever. like it, It's a target to hyper-masculinity. Let's but the say. thing is, when you say that... For hyper-masculinity, rather. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's ego and yeah. you know, there's certain things. But it's hard enough to not say it. But when you mm. say it, you're like, oh, wow. It's not even a big deal. It ain't, it when you first mean. say it, it's a, a big deal probably to, your, to the people around. No. But when you say it, it's actually not big of a deal yeah. because you're like, you know what? I'm grown. Like I'm, I, you have to grow up sometimes and just of course, man. say, say what you got. Like we're pushing 30. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, that's the thing. Someone said that to me the other day and I was like, yeah, fam. wow. Yeah, I bro. actually am yeah, pushing it's 30. It's crazy, right? Adult life is a motherfucker. <laughs> That's what 30. I'm I keep thinking I'm a kid. 30, I still watch man. cartoons, man. Bruh. Yo. <laughs> Shout out Yo. Ed, Ed and Eddie though. <laughs> Yo, best cartoon. Hey. No, no, let's have that conversation now. Best cartoons. Bro, don't even Ooh. try me because I'm going to name so many. I'm fans. just saying. You got Rugrats. You got Hey Arnold. You got Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack. Ooh, have you seen the new series? I mentioned, yes. I mentioned oh Hong God. Kong Fui earlier. Whoever knows Hong, Hong Kong, Kong Fui. Fui. Slide in my DMs. the classic Dragon Ball Z Pokemon. Come on, man. Yo, Yu-Gi-Oh. Ooh. Oh, Yogi Titan. the Bear. Oh. Teen Titans. <laughs> hey, boo boo. Let's get another big basket. I think oh. my, oh, Tom and Jerry. I think that's my all time oh, favorite. Bro, I used to watch that with my uncles. Yeah. Yeah. Sim- do we call Simpsons too? Yeah, it's a cartoon. But you, then you got that's new age. S- then you got a class like American Dad. Yeah. Um, you can go Rick and Morty. Rick Ooh, and Morty yes. is. But that's not okay. Oh my yeah. god, that's, that's probably okay, one of cartoon. the best cartoons I've ever yeah. seen. I watched that last night actually. Rick and Morty. 
Oh my god. Have you have, is that was it Mr. Meesey? <laughs> Mr. 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 Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Pickle Rick is the best episode, man. Yeah. Like, Pickle Rick. Oh man. Cause I wanna get into comedy now because um I finished watching Dave Chappelle. Chappelle show. Chappelle what, the next show. ones were? No, the, all, all of them. Oh. What? So you've learned, you've done your research now. Not entirely because but that's I need sketch to, comedy you mean. Yeah. Okay. The uh, stand up comedy. Stand up. His stand up. So like his Def Jam ones. No, um no, his stand ups in um Netflix. Like oh, oh, the Netflix. Okay, ones. no, yeah, well, the Netflix ones. I thought you meant the Chappelle The last show. two. No, not that. I, I listen. When he's when he when he does the white uh, the white person when he <laughs> says oh, when he nice. says when he says um oh shit when he says it. Oh. What was it? No. Um, oh, when he gets the um applies for uh, no that was Eddie Murphy who did that. Yeah, he yeah. Works in the back. When it was Dave Chappelle, I'm talking about Dave Chappelle. Uh, we uh we don't oh. understand you. Go back to your country. White power. <laughs> oh no, he wasn't being a white person. He was a blind guy who thought he was a leader of the KKK. Yeah. But oh, that's, that's that. what it was. Was that? Yeah. No, well, I'm mixing up with the white the one he uh, weather when reporter. He was... was it a weather reporter or a newscaster when he um when he was a white face? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think oh, I'm mixing was... up that. Sorry, sorry. But nah. that that part there, we don't understand you. Go back to your country. The, white power. The <laughs> and then greatest. he's like and then he said, um and what was it? Uh breathe in all the white man's air. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's the that's the KKK one when he thinks he, something that... Bigsby, yeah. Yeah, yeah Bigsby, something like there that. You go. Something yeah, like that. Go. Yes, no, no, not the weather one. Yeah. But the great one of the fucking But you know hilarious... what I'm talking about when oh, yeah. I'm mixing up, I'm mixing up. Yeah. But, but yeah, that one was and he's at the um petrol station. And he's outside. He's like, "Where oh, yeah. is he? Where is he?" Because he can't see him, right? <laughs> and they saying it to him. <laughs> um, do you do you remember that? And then the part that killed me, because this is fucking comedic gold, where it comes in. Because there was like a guy who was speaking over, right? And he was like, "Mr. Bigsby has divorced his wife because he claims she's a nigger lover." I was like, <laughs> "Yo!" <laughs> I was like, "Son!" No. Um, do you do you remember the one when um when he uh he got asked uh what? Sir, what do you think about the uh, African American community? It's, and he just says, "How much time you got, buddy?" <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the most iconic one because no. they didn't even let him put on t- put it on TV. My man, he has a he has a character who was a player hater, right? And he went back in time, him and all of his player hater homies, and they shot slave owners. Oh, oh wow. I never seen that. That was classic. Oh, wow, I never seen that. But the best one that I've seen that they aired was the Bush one, Black Bush. Mm. Oh, who said anything about? Oh, you cooking? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but no. Um. Uh. On the recent one, he talks about um. Uh. Bill Cosby. That was when good. he said, was... when he said, um, he uh he did a certain amount, like sixty eight plus hours. To he rape did a the certain... math, like he did, he the, did math. the math. Yeah. He did the math for it, and he's like, that's more. And then he said, he's like, it takes about thirty plus thirty to forty plus hours. To be a pilot, <laughs> motherfucker! That motherfucker, Bill Cosby should be on Top Gun for real. <laughs> I'm is, like, yeah. he saves the, more the, than he rapes. That's. But the thing is, the genius part about his, Yo. no, the genius part about it with that specific joke that I really feel like is the most. It's such a central joke because he made a point, but he didn't connect the dots. Yeah. Yeah. Until after. After. Until the episode ended. So the punchline that you said has more of a context of the saving part in in, yeah. the, in, in, in the sense of what he's done, I guess. Yeah, why he's but done. the way he just brings it 360, he literally said, and I'm, I'm happy that he did this. He was like, I'm really good. I can pick a joke, a punchline yes. out of a hat. I yes. can pick a punchline out of a hat. Yeah. Oh, and I can find a joke to use it on. What was the, what was the one? Kick her right in the pussy? Kick her right in the pussy. I need, that listen, whoever's thing. listening to this, please watch it because the way he brought it 360, <laughs> the way he brought it all together was fucking amazing. Funny. And then, um, because that's that yeah. the, the jokes that we just said um, were from the big audience, the big, the big. Um, so yeah, he went to thing. the stage where he used to shoot the Chappelle show. Obviously, it was the one last time, and it was yeah, it was, it was a beautiful moment. Yeah, and then he went to uh, a comedy smaller, club. a comedy a comedy club setting, mm-hmm. and you know when he talks the um, the story about the pimp in the end. I haven't watched that one, bro. I haven't seen that one. Don't it, ruin it. Let me watch it. Cause there's a he talks about a minute. book. Oh, Iceberg Slim. Nope. The, you know what the book's called? That character is Iceberg Slim. Yeah, but do you know the book called? I, don't remember, I remember the book had a name, but the I book is called Pimp. Is it? Oh shit! Yes, yes, yes. Because he but, was talking in the book about. I thought it had a different name, but he was talking in the book about how to control. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let people watch. Yeah. Because it's but 
he, the book the is reason, called Pimp. The reason he's such a genius and is because like, he takes shit. everyone on a journey. Like his comedy is a journey. That no, the last last one when it was is it's in a comedy club is close saying yeah. that one is definitely such a story based of his life, yeah. and it's almost like he talks about a reason why he left, um, he left uh comedy and left or America and, he went, and went to South Africa. Yeah. Did he do like bodybuilding for a while and probably for- yeah? But <laughs> I'm just saying the way it ended, mm-hmm. I had to watch that clip back. Yeah. No, I had to watch the co- I had to watch the start of the actual um. Conversation yeah. Of him telling the story And I'm like Oh shit You can't clock If you're not smart enough bro Or smart enough In mm. comedy Of his comedy You can't That's why it was at a comedy club Because I feel like You can't That It was because Because it comedy- abruptly ends as well It abruptly ends Which is crazy But um, Yeah It's mm. mad, mad Comedy mad. clubs are really like In In yeah. In the essence of comedy, they're really good critics, man. We got invited to a comedy show at the end of this month, by the way. Really? But I'll tell you about that later. Hey, okay then. Yeah. Let's pop it, man. Oh, really? That's just good. Yeah. That's just good. Man, that's crazy. That's cool. Anyways, anybody, you got anything to talk about? No, but there's one thing I really need to bring up that... Bring um, it up, man. Bring it up. Not bring up, but just I need to say because I feel like it just brushed... Not brushed under the radar, but it was so heartbreaking. R.I.P. Winnie Mandela, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've been reading about her ever since she passed away cuz I knew vaguely about her but come on. Man. Yeah. It's been a couple man. weeks now, right? Yeah, man. But like our be you know the, the grades that are like you know just yeah, passing away, man. It's heartbreaking, man. But that's we're, life, man. We're getting old. But moral of the story that I feel I feel like we've we've had like a very good um points that we a few points that we brought up is communication is key. Yeah, <laughs> with guys, with the situation with life, radio, with life, with Trump supporting situation, like everything, communication is key. Yeah. There's two sides, or however many sides there are, they have a voice. As long as it's an educated opinion, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Listen before, before we end the show, yeah, to the voices. Do you think comedians are the last truth tellers? Mm, not necessarily. Not mm. necessarily. Because mm. I was listening to um, a podcast about it, and they were saying about they're the almost like the last truth tellers. People say and that I was because like, hmm. people say that because comedians always had a s- kind of almost a license oh, of to Sorry. say kind of almost whatever they wanted, yeah. and I guess everyone's kind of in a in a sen- living in a sense where everyone's politically correct or just being very kind of like aware that you know you can hurt people with your dialogue or whatever. Mm. Yeah. Truth stutters, I guess, comedy does due to the fact that it's obviously a it's based on laughter. Mm. There is. A, Brutal honesty to it, but I don't know. I don't know who the last truth tellers would be. Truth tellers, sorry. It's, it was an interesting thing. Yeah, I just wanted to ask. It really like, is. There I, is. I get it. I I see what it's it, and there is some truth to it. But look how many dope people are in the world are doing dope things. I think. Yeah. Like people like Elon Musk and. Yeah. There's some truth tellers out there, but. Mm. I guess maybe in the entertainment industry. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think he, they tried to class it as like more the entertainment industry. Oh, okay. Within like, okay then. Within other, okay, fair enough. I can because because uh, because like, when I when I tried to like listen to what they were saying, it's mainly focused on com- comedians. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, is that actually true? And then when he just said literally, mm. then that made more sense to what um, they were trying mm. to say. So mm-hmm. um, yeah, that's the I love thing. I love comedy just because it's evolved like a motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. You guys seen Eric Andre show? No, yes. Oh, oh, it's ridiculous. God, it is beautiful. You it's need to watch ridiculous. It. Just watch whatever interview you get. It is so or, ridiculous. Whatever episode. It is beautifully ridiculous. There's no other way that we can, de- like, I can describe it. Like, what would you. That's the perfect word. It's like Patrice O'Neill, all that shit. Like. No. No, it's literally like. Different brand, fam. Yo. Uh, I would wouldn't... like to have a conversation with Patrice O'Neill, you know. God rest his soul, man. Oh, my God. Mm. That would be a great, a great conversation. Genius. He was a G, fam. Yeah. I'd love to have a, co- a fucking conversation with George Wallace, fam. George mm. Wallace. Or John Witherspoon from fucking The Father of <laughs> Friday, fam. <laughs> Craig! <laughs> I tell you. All the time. <laughs> come here, boy. Come here. He sounded exactly like, like my uncle, fam. Yeah. That definitely sounded like an uncle. Lit, lit, I have an uncle who sounds exactly like that. Wow. Oh, shit. I, was like, shit. I mean, I'd like to have a conversation with Prince. Oh, yeah. yeah. Rest in peace, Prince, man. Yeah. yeah. Two years yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. two years yesterday, yeah. A person I would like... I don't know who else I would... Patrice O'Neill. A Pharrell conversation would be beautiful. Yeah. Dude, I'm not sure I would be able to say any words. <laughs> You'd be staring like, I'm fucking with Pharrell right now. Oh my fuck. I mean... Yeah. 
that's that's it'd be cool though yeah for real shout out to the I, neptunes yeah neptunes my name's h Chad hugo yeah he's asian so yeah exactly he's asian so but yeah, yeah I, w- I would love to have a conversation with pharrell mm-hmm. um, i want to have a conversation with missy elliott man oh my god that would be genius man. Ooh, I, no. can't a convers- I would like to have a conversation Me with um uh oh shit who is it be kobe kobe bryant the keys oh yeah Kobe's. I would like, like to have Mama. a conversation and know. I would, I would like, like to know what pushed him to do that. Um, yeah, I, I would. I would love to, just because of that that short film. I would love to just have a, a to see film. what his mind is at right now after mm-hmm. basketball. Um, I love that. Even though he's had interviews like that, I just would like to know yeah. a deeper sense. I want to talk to Ava DuVernay, fam. Mm. She's a fucking G, fam. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. I'm, I'm a, <laughs> shout out to James who put me on the uh, Michael Ravenport podcast Ooh. I would love to have a conversation with DJ Premier I'm saying that now because he had an episode recently shout and out I'm, Primo Primo has an episode oh. with Michael Ravenport and I'm still watching it I'm still listening to it sorry and the stories this man has fuck <laughs> shit I would like to have a conversation with Ma- Michael Ravenport about the documentary he did for the uh, for I would Charco like to have a conversation yeah. because he's the guy who yeah. made that happen pretty much because I yeah. think there was a part there was some time that it wasn't happening and he just put it forth and I was like wow but yeah man yeah I'd like to do that I'd like to uh, have a conversation Steve with Steve Stout Steve Stout Dapper Dan of course <laughs> of course of Harlem of yeah. course come on are man are you crazy DJ Shit. Cool Herc mm. I'd like to have a conversation with um, Clark Kent. Anyone who's been... Cause, just because... Superman. Yeah. Shout out Roxanne, Roxanne. Is no, what DJ I say, um, no, I know, I know. DJ <laughs> Clark Kent, uh, DJ Green Lantern. Lois Lane. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but I, DJ Spider-Man. The reason why is because they've seen so much shit in New York hip-hop, which is really crazy to think about. Mm. Right? Like, imagine Green Lantern has a version. He says, Jay-Z did a remix to Lethal Bizzle's Pow. <laughs> and he has that and he has oh, wow. doesn't release it yet and I was like that's dope if Jay-Z releases that imagine talking to Lauren Hill as well oh my lord Erica Badu I'd love to have a conversation yes. with Erica Badu oh, the energy D'Angelo yeah man shout out to D'Angelo we're gonna see him yeah. soon cheers couple months yeah co- no three June, months June right yeah June uh, July that's a couple months July no it's Father's Day I think so I don't know. Is it Father's Day? Is it's out? Uh, Mike said I'll that. Have I think. that. I have to check that. I have to some shit. But I don't know. I don't mm. know what's going on. Um, seeing D'Angelo. What are our plans this summer? Actually, let's end it like that. I'm trying to. I'm trying to travel, fam. I downloaded this app that um a friend told me about, and basically it it's called Lucky Trip, and it shows you you pick a budget. So I think the minimum is two. No, I think the minimum is actually one fifty. Okay. And obviously you can go a thousand plus, and you just pick your budget and it tells you where you're gonna go obviously what what place you're gonna be staying obviously prices included mm-hmm. and activities to do there and mm-hmm. it gives you options of activities and I've just been like to, like just checking it out and turning around Starbucks. Uh, oh, the, um, the racial thing in Starbucks. So basically, yeah. Um, these two black uh, black uh, black guys huh? uh, were just waiting for a friend in Starbucks, local mm. Starbucks. Mm-hmm. Haven't bought anything, and I, I believe this was in. It wasn't in Philadelphia. I think it was somewhere else. I'm not too sure. I'm not really sure, but not it, really sure. But yeah, so the police pulled up on him and took him out for some reason. I don't even know why. But the thing is, the person who did it was the manager, yeah. and um. And that caused a lot of controversy because there's also a video of people in in the same time, actually it was mine, um, actually talking about um, why are they being do? We haven't bought anything as well. We've mm. been here for a few hours, and they got those people were white. And um, there's another guy. There's a story actually of a guy. Um, Your phone is blowing up. I know. I know. I thought you said you had somewhere to be too. Shit. I know. I know. I gotta be somewhere with that. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's um <laughs> there's um there was this guy who went to his local Starbucks and he went in and asked for the code for the toilet for the bathroom. Hmm. 
and the person in there said no um, unless you're a buying customer uh, you can't uh, get the code um, but the thing is he just wanted to use the toilet before mm. just he just wanted to see like if it's true or not yeah. like the whole um, racial discrimination all that good mm. stuff and then and he's like I'm not gonna buy anything anymore anyway I don't care anymore mm-hmm. goes to outside the bu- uh, the bathroom mm. and uh, guy comes out that, mm. that used it it was white Mm-hmm. And he asked him, "Sorry, sir, but um, did you buy anything by any chance before you went to the toilet?" He's like, "No, um, they just gave me the code uh, when I asked for it, and then I'll buy something now." Uh, so you never bought anything. They gave you the code willingly before buying something. Mm. He said, "Yes, yeah, that's no problem." And he's like, "Okay, is it alright to go with you to go to the counter?" He's like, "Yeah, cool." And then he goes there, has his phone out recording, mm. and he's like, "So." This guy, you did not let me get the code because um, I didn't buy anything. But this guy, he bought, he didn't buy anything too. But you gave him the code before he buys something. And then they were, the guys were like, oh, stop recording us. You're in private property. All that so forth. And that became crazy. And obviously there were strikes in Philadelphia about, mm-hmm. oh, you know, them shouting at Trump, uh, um, at Starbucks employees. Yeah. Now, I think personally, obviously you can blame the people that work there. Yes, yeah. that's fine. But some, most of the people there mm-hmm. don't think like those guys that did did those actions, right? So, I, I felt like it was unfair for some workers, not all of them, mm-hmm. just some workers. I think that, that you should go to the management to deal with that, like which is the higher-ups and strike there. Instead of striking outside mm-hmm. your local Starbucks, because yeah. there's a lot of mm-hmm. local Starbuckses, and people still go in there. Like I'll probably go there later after this. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So I mean, until I, I just I, I that was just my analysis of it a little mm-hmm. bit. Mm-hmm. Maybe when they maybe when they did that, they did that because Starbucks didn't put out a comment, a statement, or anything, did they? Yeah. So if Starbucks something like that happens in Starbucks, and Starbucks doesn't obviously assume responsibility, because let's be honest, the responsibility is on them then I guess there should be something to say yo we don't really appreciate you not you know doing anything about this so if that's the case I haven't looked into this but if that's the case then by all means keep doing that shit if if Starbucks ain't made the statement if Starbucks ain't made the statement then fuck Starbucks are we gonna um... boycott Starbucks until they make a statement shit I don't know if made a statement. That's the thing. If they haven't, then that's real. Yeah, I haven't read it. Yeah, yeah, fuck Donald Trump. Yeah. I like white folks, but I don't like you. All the niggas in the hood want to fight you. Surprise, El Chapo ain't tried to snap you. Surprise, the nation of Islam ain't tried to find you. Have a rally out LA, we gon' fuck it up. Home of the ride, the king ride, we don't give a fuck. Black students, check it from your rally. Well, I'm ready to go right now. Your race I just wanted to bring that up too. I forgot. You, no, no, that's, we were having that deep yeah, conversation. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's been a deep episode, which yeah, is good. Which is good. It's just us three too. There's, it's that's crazy. Nice. But no um, outsiders. Yeah, little, right. little outsiders. We'll bring some more guests, but it's like, nice to have just us three though. Yeah, man. it's crazy, and having actual conversation and no one. It's the first time it's the only only the hosts for once. Cause yeah. like that was episode. That was an episode. It was just you and me, and then Jake. it was as soon as you. Wait, with James? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, there was an episode with James as well. Um, and then, obviously, when you came on, there was an episode with just us three. So, no, yeah. it's nice. It's kind of. Yeah, it's the first episode with us, so, which is really good. The man that really good to have. Me. But, um, yeah, we're ending it here. Mm-hmm. Um, I realized that I haven't done the email thing yet, which is fucked. <laughs> but if you want to. <laughs> yeah, 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 I need that. to. I need to. So, next week, <laughs> it's because I thought, yeah. And there's an email on the fucking um, Instagram, so you could use that direct message me from there. But then I realized I was like, I might as well give it to the older man. So, um, mm. so yeah, so everyone can have access and just have a look. Um, so yeah, I'm still gonna sort that out during this week. I just couldn't do it at the time. I just, I, I was overthinking it. Um, <laughs> I've been overthinking. Also, we're gonna try and work out this playlist shit. Uh, first, we will. We, we will. will. And Apple Music. Apple Music, yeah. We're just <laughs> Had to just out. do a little plug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, pay us, man. Come on, we're putting you on. Hey, it. put us on Beats Radio, um, fam. Yeah, yeah. Man, be- Yo, Beats Radio, OVO Sound Radio, holla. Hey, yo, we some, we smooth, we some smooth motherfuckers. Huh? We could have Seagis Radio. Yeah, <laughs> man. Shout out to Seagis Records one plug. time. Plug. No? 
But um, only a certain people will know about that anyway. So yeah, yeah it's soon come, soon come. But um, yeah, thank you for everyone listening. I appreciate you guys love, for listening. Love, love. We got bigger plans in the summer too, so watch out for that. Watch this space. Um, yeah. Shout out to everyone uh, listening in from whether it be from. Where other countries you, uh, and stuff like that because you told me one of your friends from New York so yeah um, Toronto people are listening I hope New uh, York New York yeah New York UK a lot of people from the UK of course but hopefully everybody just keeps listening and joins us in our journey um, also iTunes SoundCloud YouTube yeah, just subscribe and rate please just, uh, yeah, it helps it helps help help so out. much yeah it helps just, even us just, out. it takes two minutes not even that yeah. like 30 seconds yeah at least yeah. less than a minute man don't yeah. take that long but um, yeah hopefully everyone's that um, again trust me we got plans for the summer yeah, you got plans just for the watch summer. the space that's what we need watch, to say yeah, watch the space, watch the space man. <laughs> I'm just excited for, to do that thing, yeah. that thing that one thing we need to do a few things man don't worry man <sighs> Uh, but yeah thank you guys for listening see you in the next episode shout love, out to the man one love, time love, love, uh, love, love, love. Uh, 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 comments on my page and I probably shouldn't do this now cause I can see you're about to lose your mind and that's not the best way to remember each other cause we had the thing right friends and lovers that's not the best way to remember each other.